Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Lanaru Road Crystal Shrine quest here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we'll start by showing you guys the exact location of the start to the shrine. For those of you that don't already know where it's at, it'll be on the northern side of the Lanaru Promenade right here. And once you make it, all you need to do is interact with the shrine. And after that, it'll start with the little green laser pointing you in the direction of the crystal. Now, it's going to be behind the waterfall and you can get through the waterfall. However, it's elevated, so you would need to fly from a high distance. So we're just going to go through the cave entrance. So if you work your way over here and climb these structures on the right, you guys will notice that we have a little entrance in the side of the mountain here. Now, it's not super simple. We do have to fly across a couple times and grab onto the walls as there's a massive drop off here. So just make sure that you grab onto the walls and you'll be able to jump your way across. We're going to have a couple walls that we need to break down inside. The first one's going to be obviously where the laser is pointing to which we can just use a bomb flower. And we're going to run up here and grab the crystal and just bring it down. And to get out of here, we're going to use an airplane uh, that we're going to build to fly through the waterfall, which is pretty epic. So we'll go ahead and bring the crystal down. And then right over here on the right, we're going to use the Sage of Fire to break through this uh, blue rock wall. And once you do, you'll get the wing out. We can go ahead and line that up on the little runway. And once it's there, we're going to go back up into the room that had the crystal. So you can attach the crystal. Make sure you leave room for a fan and a steering device. And if we head back up into the room where the crystal initially was, you'll see that we have three items that we can use. We've got the fan here, so we'll go throw that on the back. We've also got a rocket on the floor up here, so we can attach that to the back of the fan and give us a little bit of a boost. And the third and final item will be the steering device, which will be on the top shelf. You can throw that on the middle. We'll hop on and we'll launch ourselves through the little waterfall. And all we need to do is fly right back over here to where the shrine was. I'm kind of glitched out here because I guess I was using the Sage of Fire. Uh, but once we get over here, we can just jump off, go ahead and separate the crystal. And once you get the crystal in front of the shrine, it'll open it up for you and you can go inside. And fortunately, it's just a raw roost blessing. So we just need to open up the chest and we're good to go. But this is how to do it. If you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.